Now to politics. It's primary day in five states today. Voters headed to the polls in Pennsylvania, North Carolina, Kentucky, Idaho, and Oregon. CBS's Robert Costa looks at the key races and whether former President Trump's endorsement will help a celebrity doctor turn political candidate. Voters headed to the polls early here in Pennsylvania, a key battleground state. The main event is the Republican Senate primary election, where in the final days, the three top contenders have been locked in a tight race. Celebrity Dr. Mehmet Oz won Trump's backing, but faces competition from businessman and former George W. Bush administration official David McCormick, and from conservative commentator Kathy Barnett, who has surged in recent days. Oz remains confident. The good news is I'm leading in the race. President Trump, when he endorsed me, said I was smart, tough, I would never let you down. But Barnett has won support with her anti-establishment message. Did former President Trump pick the wrong person in this race? Absolutely. But listen, <laughs> but listen, he is, he, he is not Jesus, so he gets to be wrong, and on this, he's wrong. Barnett has also faced scrutiny about past statements that were anti-Muslim and homophobic. Some voters say they won't listen to Trump, even if he remains their favorite. I love President Trump. He did a lot of great things for the country, but... Sometimes pre uh, former President Trump just doesn't pick the correct people to surround himself with. Many Pennsylvania Democrats have been rallying around the front runner for their Senate nomination, Lieutenant Governor John Fetterman, who suffered a stroke last week and is receiving a pacemaker today. In North Carolina, another Trump-endorsed candidate, first-term Congressman Madison Cawthorn, is under fire following a string of controversies from clashes with colleagues to brushes with the law, including bringing a loaded gun to an airport. Party leaders are closely watching the Philadelphia suburbs, knowing the dynamics here are often a bellwether of the political drift in this state, now and ahead of 2024. Nora. Robert Costa, thank you.